Everyone's heard of the game chess, but many people don't know how to play. Today, I'm going to teach you the rules and strategy to the centuries-old game chess. To begin with, this is the pawn piece. The pawn can move one, or, or it can move two. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Or is it? It's two on your first move, one on all the others, oh. and you can move diagonally when you're taking other pieces. And this is the bishop. He can move diagonally at any time, or he can switch with his bro, the other bishop. No, sir, he can switch places with the rooks. It wouldn't make any sense for him to be able to switch places with the other bishop, now would it? Oh, yeah, oh, duh. Okay, got it. There's also a secret rule regarding the knight that only an elite number of master chess players know. It's called the Fwerple Wingdinger. Whoa. What? When a knight jumps over another knight, they perform a sort of duo attack where they can slay pieces on the front three sides of them. Awesome. That doesn't sound like a real rule. Of course it's not a real rule. The knights aren't able to move until the kings have a mid-board duel. Absolutely not. Uh, what about queens? They're like the best piece. Why what? can't they do it? I don't even know what you're talking about. Have you played chess rule. once in your life? Have yeah, you played so it even once? Oh, uh, guys. Do you guys this know anything about, thing about chess? chess? It's with the bishop. The oh, bishop is the one that can move the enemy and switch with any other piece. I just looked it up online. I have a second change. Four years. I wear these sunglasses. I don't actually wear them. No. First, you take the rope. I just want to the stone. You guys want to play Yahtzee? Yeah, yeah, I like Yahtzee's cool. I like Yahtzee's cool.